guys, it's Abby here and welcome back to another vlog. So for today's video, it's going to be another episode of Abby. And this time, let's make it a little bit personal. Kasi diba, usually my personal type of videos ko, doon ko siya ini-upload sa Insabi pag meron akong life realizations. Gumagawa ko ng topic related to that. Pero this time, I decided since related naman to sa industrial engineering, my experiences in industrial engineering, oh, oh! It's related naman to sa industrial engineering because it is going to be my experiences. I am going to include this to our series called Abby. I'm going to talk about why am I irregular. I don't have any outline for this. Kanina after ko mag-workout, naisip ko lang mag-video about this. Kasi feeling ko, kasi maraming nagme-message sa akin ngayon regarding school, regarding academics. They are telling me na nahihirapan sila. And I feel like this video might or may not help some of you guys. But still, I wanna share my experiences with you. Let's see kung saan tayo dadali ng video na to. So, if you're interested as I am, please keep... Two, three, fuck it! My darling, I love you, 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 I love you. Ako talaga, personally, I am struggling since um, high school pa. I am struggling sa any math subjects. And kung tatanungin nyo ako, eh, ba't ka po nag-STEM? Eh, kasi nandun yung friends ko. <laughs> Literal na wala talaga akong kasama. If ipupurso ko yung passion ko talaga, which is related to yums. STEM, no, no STEM student ako, mababa ang scores ko sa calculus. And hindi kasi kami nabigyan ng sobrang gandang foundation sa calculus. Hindi po talaga ganun kabuo yung foundation namin about calculus. Comparing, comparing to my classmates now on college who graduated from UB and Bat State U. Well, given the fact that BSU and UB are really focused on this kind of subject. So, pas magiting namin ng college, meron pa lang three stages of subjects related to that. Differential calculus, integral calculus, and differential equations. Actually, may mga prerequisites pa siya, pero yung tatlong yun kasi is itatake mo, sa amin na, itinake namin yun first year and second year. First year, first hem, ang tinake namin is differential equations. Matragal sa differential calculus namin. Pero the good thing is, si Ma'am Amy Panopio, magaling talaga siyang magturo. Naiintindihan ko naman, naiintindihan ko guys, pero mahirap talaga siyang magpa-exam. Admit, no mga first week na tuturo siya, na wala pa akong kaibigan, wala pa akong close, I'm really struggling. And doon ko napatunayan na it's really important that you have friends in college that can help you uh, to understand things. Kasi minsan, di ba, na sobrang komplikado ng mga tinidiscuss sa atin. Mas madali siyang nai-explain sa atin ang classmates natin and mas naiintindihan natin. So, I was incomplete with some of my classmates um, because sila papangalanan baka siya ng papangalan. So, I was incomplete sa differential calculus and I had to wait two weeks for me to be able to have my grades. So, BSU, pag nagka-INC ka, hindi na siya matatanggal. It's either your grade will be 3 or 5. INC over 3 or INC over 5. Gladly, kinausap lang kami ni Ma'am Amy Panopio. Kasi kami, nung first year kami, yung mga kaklase ko na bumagsak ng DE since, ay ng DE, ng differential calculus, since may prerequisite siya, buti na lang ng mga panahon na yun, pwede pang mag-petition sa BAT State. Yung ngayon kasi, correct me if I'm wrong, if there are freshies who are watching this, ang alam ko kasi ngayon sa BAT State U, engineering department or any department, hindi na sila tumatanggap ng petition kasi summer ngayon in first special class. Pero na lang if um, graduating ka yata, parang ganun undergrad, pero hindi ko, hindi ko alam yung procedure, pero hindi na ganun kadaling mag-petition ngayon. So, yung mga first year ngayon na bumabagsak, na, kung meron man, na bumagsak sa differential calculus, nahihirapan talaga silang humabol kasi may, yung mga classmates kung bumagsak sa differential calculus, medyo nakahabol sila. First year, second sem, umakyat kami ng Bat State U Alangilan. So, what we had to take is integral calculus. Integral calculus is the reason why I am irregular. I take it three times that the first um the first is the regular class so i'm still regular no first ako nating na integral i must admit that i didn't really foot <laughs> i must admit that i didn't really put so much effort 
during this um, regular class of integral calculus, I am admitting that. Siguro ginawa ko yung best ko pero alam ko hindi yun yung pinaka pinaka maibibigay ko. So I had to suffer that consequences. Oo, sinabi ko siya, sinabi ko dito sa bahay pero it really took a while for me to be able to tell that story. I remember video ko yon. Video ko kasi nag sa bulsa ko. Kung paano ko sinabi sa parents ko that I failed integral calculus. I, every time na magtatanong sa akin ang parents ko, if may grade na ako sa integral calculus, no, first ha, kung may grade na ako, hindi ko sinasabi. Like, sinasabi ko, eh, wala pa, lahat ganun, wala pa. Sa ganun, laging ganun, laging wala pa. Tapos, that one night, I had to ask for signature for our petition class. Kasi nung panahon namin, pwede pa mag-petition, diba, nung first year kami. Mag-i-take namin siya ng summer. So, pwede pa kami mag-petition. So, I had to ask for my parents' signature. So, I have to tell them that I failed. So, nag-integral calculus ulit kami ng summer sa Bat State, you mean. And yes, I also failed that summer class. It was harder for me to accept the second one because I feel like I really, really worked hard for this subject. I really, really worked hard. I have sleepless nights. I would go to school um, without any sleep. So, biyahe lang matutulog. Kasi I had to review that specific tough topic. Tough. Tough talaga siya. I'm able to pass that um, summer class sa calculus. Regular na ulit ako ngayon. Kasi if you're going to ask me if I was able to tell it right away this time to my parents, the answer is no. It is way harder this time. I yung integral na calculus the third time, second year, first sem. Hi, Ma'am Eileen Araguas. Thankfully, I was able to pass it. Thank you so much kay Ma'am Eileen. Sobrang, sobrang. Thank you kay Ma'am Eileen talaga. That is the reason why I am irregular and I don't know if na-explain ko na maayos kung may kulang ba ako. Second year, first sem, natihado din ako sa statistics. I had to take the removal exams twice. I just one, I wasn't able to pass it. Share ko lang ito. Nung nalaman ko na nakapasa ako sa statistics, nag-lunch kasi ako ng soap. Kaya, yeah, umakit ako, nag-aabang sila sa may hagdan sa third floor. Tapos, sinag nila ako. Sabi ko, bakit? Anong niya? Anong si ka? Sabi ko, tapos, bigla si Herbert yata o si Sheila. Ah, si Sheila. Sabi, nakapasa ka. Ate, mas mataas yung score mo sa statistics. Tapos, nakaganito na ako si Sheila. Eh, oh nai. Tapos, eh, sinabi sa akin ni Janela. Janela po rin, hi, Janelski. Sinabi niya sa akin na, okay, kami yung first removal. Saan kapasa na siya doon? Sabi niya sa akin, chinat daw yung Sir Gerson, if, Meron pa daw pag-asa yung mga hindi nakapasa ng first removal. Sabi nung ni Sir Gerson is wala na talaga. Yun na yun, das na yun. So, sobrang nag-uusap sila na um, ano daw kaya mararamdaman ko, paano daw kaya ako. They were really worried about me na hindi na nila nasabi sa akin kasi alam nila na sobrang masasaktan ako. So, I was second year, second sem. We also struggled sa uh, principles of economics. <sighs> I the different requirements which is we understand. Kasi nababa yung scores namin sa exams ni sir kasi we really failed on following Sir Mark's directions which is very crucial. Dahil kasi sinasabi ni Sir Mark na yung mga terms makakalimutan niya yan pero ang importante sa trabaho nyo in the future is for you to be able to follow the directions. Sinasabihan niya kami ng mga words of wisdom. I'm at the back. I am starting to cry. I was holding on to a tissue given by Dawn at the back. So, ayun. After that, I go straight sa bathroom. Tapos, doon ako umiyak kasi ayaw ko makita ko mga klase ko na todo breakdown sis. Sa comfort room. Tapos, after few minutes, narinig ko, may tumatawag ng pangalan ko. Sumunod sa akin si Jaira. Tapos, sa pinto, tatang niya, Abby. So, isigaw siya, Abby, Abby. Hinahanap niya. Nahihiyak ako kasi. Sinunodan niya talaga ako, B. Sinundan niya talaga ako to make sure that I am okay. Hintay niya ako doon sa may, sa may labas. Kasi nasa labas ako ng cubicle na CR. Hintay niya ako doon sa may labas. Hanggang sa makalabas ako. Tapos lumabas ako ng okay na ako. Alam ko si Jaira na if sinanong niya kung okay lang ako, magbe-breakdown ako. So, she didn't ask me that. She just assured that I'm okay. Summary of what I said. Yes. First is yes, I am irregular. The reason why is because I failed integral calculus that I had to date three times. 
it has prerequisites. So, I have an additional one year. Supposedly, kasi ang industrial engineering in the new curriculum is four years na. Since I failed and I am irregular, and there is no more petition to be offered, or special class to be offered at our level, my, pro my program of study has an additional one year or two semesters. So, that is the consequences of my failing subjects. My first advice would be deal with it. Deal with your emotions. Deal with the fact na bumagsak ka. The first step para makamove forward ka is to accept things, to accept your failures, to accept your imperfections, to accept everything. I know it's really hard, but the first step is really the hardest because it's, it is the beginning. So strengthen your faith. It's honest and transparent to you guys that I've been telling this to my friends that I feel like believe na sa mga plano niya for me because I feel like my life is my life, my dreams, my path is really shattered. In talaga na sa isip ko nun. I was I was in a victory worship. I was in a victory worship. It's very um seldom for me to attend to those kind of worship. But I want to tell you guys that it really helped me. So I'm really thankful for the people who who led me na mag-attend ng worship. At the end of the worship, the pastor told us that told us na kung sino man na experience ng ganito, ng ganyan, failures, ng doubt sa sarili, ng doubt sa faith, ng blah, 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 blah. Please raise your hand. Lahat kami, lahat ng tao dun sa hall nakapikit. If you guys would believe with this, it's, it, kinilabutan talaga ako nun. And habang kinukwento ko na Jaira, kinikilabutan talaga ako. I felt, I felt something. I felt something na parang, I felt something in my elbows na parang, pinupush niya. Pinupush niya yung kamay ko to be able na makapagtaas ng kamay. Tapos parang may bumabalong sa akin na itaas ko yung kamay ko para may humawak sa kamay ko na para itaas siya. So the last thing I knew is nakaganito na ako. Nakapikita ako nakaganyan na ako. I was holding my chest. Right after the worship, may lumapit sa amin ng babae. Na babae. Pinray over niya kami. Pinray over niya kami. Tapos sabi ko, maybe this is God talking to me, this is our Lord talking to me to fight, to fight more. Lumaban pa ako because His plans are better than my inhibitions. His plans are better than my doubts. His plans are better than the things that's going on in my mind that time. And to this day, it's, it still feels so surreal thinking about that. And ayun, I'm just thankful for that very day, that Sunday, that I was able to attend a victory worship, strengthen your faith and always remember that with God and our Lord, everything is possible. Sabi nga ni Tony Gonzaga, minsan kailangan sirain ng Diyos yung mga plano natin kasi meron siyang mas magagandang plano. So we just have to trust the process. So next is having a strong support system is very essential for ko makakayanan yung journey ko of being irregular of do, those feeling great. Some of you guys might think na ang OE ko naman, normal naman sa engineering yung bumagsak, blah, 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 blah. Ang OE ko naman, ganyan ko, ganyan na ako mag -duel. You don't understand unless you are in my shoes. Lagi yung isipin yan. Huwag kayong manghuhul sa ganang tao because hindi nyo alam kung ano yung ditadala nyo sa loob. But siguro isang advice pa guys is don't be embarrassed to ask for help. Huwag kayo mahihiyang magtanong kung mayroon kayong hindi nagigets. Huwag kayong mahihiyang humingi ng tulong. Pero huwag naman nating abusuhin, guys. Ha? Pero ayun nga, okay. huwag nyo lang abusuhin, pero okay lang humingi ng tulong. In relation to that, if you are a gifted student, if you have a gifted mind, please share your knowledge to your classmates, to your friends. Turuan mo sila sa mga lessons na hindi nila alam. Special thanks to my classmates who really put efforts in order for us to learn. Herbert, thank you, thank you so much for your efforts. Kung nanonood ka man, thank you for your efforts sa pag-share ng problems kay Sheila, kay Anne, kay May. Hindi ko na kayo malahat-lahat. Pero for all the people who really spend time to teach us subjects sa teach us topics na hindi namin alam. Sobra-sobra kaming thankful talaga. I super appreciate you guys. Sobrang 
laking tulong, tinuturuan nila kami kapag may... Next is lagi niyong iisipin na having a grade of 3, having failing subjects, having failing grades is normal. So be thankful for the grades that you have. Be appreciative of the grades that you have because you worked hard for it. And the, siguro the last thing that I want to tell you guys is laban lang. Padayon. Move forward. Continue moving forward. Huwag kang susuko. Don't give up. Okay lang yun na maisip mo na, ah, pagod na ako. Gusto ko nang huminto. Okay lang yun. Pero pag-isipan mo siyang mabuti. Isipin mo lahat ng sacrifices mo to be able to have, to be able to achieve wherever you are now. Pag-isipan yung mabuti yung mga gagawin yung decision because it will affect your future. It will affect your future. Sabihin sa'yo that you are not alone in this battle. In any of your battles, you are not alone. Please remember that there are a lot of people out there um, loving you, wants to embrace you, wants to love you. You just need to open your doors for them. But please be careful of the people you trust. Be careful of the people you share your stories with because may dalawang klase ng tao na kikinig sa problema mo. First is yung tao na handa mo pakinggan, handa kang damayan at nandiyan para sa'yo. The second was the kind of person na nakikinig sa'yo kasi binubuo niya yung story para may share niya sa friends niya at pagtawanan ka nila. So be careful on who you trust. I want to tell you that everyone in this world has their own problems. May mga pagkakataon lang talaga na some people can dwell, some people kaya nila darin yung problema nila. Joyfully, kaya nilang ihiwalay yung problema nila sa bahay at iwan lang doon. If hindi ka ganon, that is completely fine. That is valid. Whatever you are feeling is valid. Your feelings are valid. Please know that if you need someone to talk to, this is from the bottom of my heart. If you need someone to talk to, you can message me on my Facebook page. I'm thankful for the people who are sharing their stories with me. Yung iba, sinasend lang ko pa ng video kasi hindi ko alam ko paano sila kung para pagaan yung loob nila. So, nagsend ako ng videos kasi hindi ko siya masabi last sa chat. So, if you need someone to talk to, you can message me on my Facebook page anytime. Everything is gonna be okay. Hindi man ngayon, hindi man natin alam kung kailan in God's perfect time. Just believe that everything is going to be. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below for any video suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell beside it. Like my Facebook page and... Always remember to make your eyebrows on quick. Bye!